Ho, ho, ho. It's holiday season. Welcome to the holiday episode of Unobtained. We're getting snow. We're getting ready for a new project. That's right, guys. We are building something here at Spawn. Guess what we're building? That's right, guys. The museum. So I posted something a little bit ago on my channel. And I was like, what do you guys want me to do for the next episode? It was either build a museum, or start it at least, or build a mob XP farm, which I misspelled as a mob do farm. But, you know, same deal. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on this project here. I do want to carry out the XP farm, but that'll have to be next episode. Anyway, so this is the area that we're going to build the museum at. Of course, it's going to be at spawn, because spawn is where we're going to spawn if we don't have a bed and I'd like for everyone who looks at the world comes right to the uh, museum so this right here I think this flat area here is going to be uh, where we start out at we're going to start with the floor here I don't necessarily know where you're going to spawn every time but uh, we'll figure it out so uh, yeah let's go ahead and get started I'm going to go ahead and uh Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so over here you're thinking? Alright, and expand this way, okay. And then maybe have a garden over here, is that right? Okay, right, right, right. And then, um, one more question. Wait, wait, one more question. Um, where, where should my path hook up? Over here? Oh, okay, right, right over here, I see. Right, okay. Thank you, sir. Um, I guess I'll relay the information. Okay, guys, so this is the area I've selected to do the museum, or the at least the entrance, which is where we're going to have some of our first unobtainables. It'll be kind of cool. Uh, this hill here is eventually going to go, but we're going to start it with the hill in the way because we're going to have a big flat area where we can uh, kind of get a nice view from kind of there, and it'll be a huge building with the grand entrance right here, but humble beginnings, humble beginnings. So uh, we're gonna center it around this block here. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna do the entrance right here. So I wanted to have, uh, if you think about it, when you have a big entrance to somewhere, they have multiple doors uh, in. So this is gonna be one door, this three wide one. I have another door here, another door here so one two three doors okay so that's for the flow of people getting in and out of the museum of course this is going to be a massive build um, I'm assuming we're going to go in well over into there but yeah um, start small so I have a bunch of materials over in this chest here this is where we spawn so we'll probably have a room that we spawn in which would be kind of cool but um, let's go ahead and get started with just the basics here Okay, so of course the kind of entrance area or the floor material is, uh, I'm thinking about stone bricks. So let's just kind of dig out the flooring areas. Okay, so th if this is kind of our flooring areas, um, right, we're, we would have the wall, whatever we make the wall out of. And I was thinking to, for the entrances here, since you know, essentially we kind of want them open because we can't really build huge doors in Minecraft. We can do the one by two, or we can have a kind of just an opening. And so to kind of make the illusion of a door, what I wanted to do is have planks going up the sides here. Um, now remember, we don't have a lot of materials to work with right now. So this is gonna be kind of tough to do. But uh, to display things, right, what we're going to do is have um, kind of whenever you go into a museum in real life, there's like a, a rotunda, right, um, where they have kind of the center desk right here or something. And then off to the sides, right, off to the sides here and around here until like an exit. So say our exit is right here or something. So that would make the rotunda probably here. Ish, actually. But we'd have, there'd be walls connecting kind of to here. Right? So we're going to do that, I think. So 
I think I want to lay out the walls here with cobblestone. So we're going to have, here's the entrance, right? All right, looks good. So now I think we're going to go for a wall design. So see, I have a crafting bench over here. I want to kind of make an indent into the side of the wall just because it would look better. So let's see how that looks. I, I'm assuming now it's not going to look too good, but okay. We'll see how it looks in the future, but I'm just, we're going to put some bushes around here and gardening and whatnot. Uh, that looks a bit better. Okay. Uh, okay, so let me know which display looks the best to you guys. Um, kind of a rough, rough idea right now. I, I don't like this chest up here. It just feels wonky. You have the item, and then you have probably a display of the item. So we'd place, for example, the uh, end portal frame we can do here. So let's actually... Let me go get an end portal frame and bring it back and we'll see how that looks. All right, guys. So um, let's let's try this out. So this is permanent. This is going to be how it looks. Boom. OK, boom. Oh, man. OK, so unfortunately, you have to kind of jump up to see it. But yeah, OK. And then in the chest, we'd have the items themselves. We have one placed here in the world, which is awesome. Ah, oh, that's that screenshot material right there. Um, and then I'm saying it's not the greatest though, because you can't like see the top, which is like the cool part. So maybe we kind of, I don't know how, how we would do it uh, in other ways. Maybe for the other one, we get an eye of Ender and put the other one here and put an eye in it. <laughs> it is what it is now. We can't remove this, at least... Uh, not anymore <laughs> i'm sure there's ways but for now this is it um that brings me to one thing i want to do this episode that's a little bit different uh, i want you guys to send me suggestions of how to display specific items slash general items in the museum because of course we want a good way to show people how stuff looks epic right so just take a look at this, uh, pause the video and get an idea of like, this is kind of the wall we would be working with and um, see what you can do with the Minecraft 1.0 block palette. Let's just keep it at that for now. And then of course, as time goes on, we can add more and more blocks into the building. Uh, yeah. uh, guys, look, I found Betsy 2.0. If you don't know who Betsy is, check out my last video. Uh, I found Betsy 3.0 over here too. Hey, yo, Betsy. Out of the two of you, one better survive, I'm saying. I'm just saying that right off the bat, okay? One of you guys gotta promise me. 2.0, 3.0, 1.0, doesn't matter to me. Okay, well, one's over there. We're gonna keep this guy over here. And we're bringing him into the captivity. Yes! <laughs> we have cows. I'm so happy. Oh, this is the best day ever. Oh, sorry, chicken. So I've been a wee bit stupid, guys. Um, I died a few times. I'm trying to light up with some ravines around here. Just for some reason, there's a lot of ravines around here. And yeah, ravines are dangerous. Um, so no one really uh, told me what to do with the duped diamonds. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to treat myself to a set of diamond armor because... Um, yeah, I didn't really get any good suggestions or suggestions at all. So that's what we're going to do. Um, for the remainder of the diamonds, offers are still open for what you think I should do. Just destroy them. What do you think? Uh, there is 41 duped diamonds now. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm using this, this, this armor right now because I'm going to go get the stuff. <laughs> the reason I'm trying to light up all these caves is because um, I want to set up a mob farm. I'm going with a unique design, okay? There's not a lot of mechanics that we can use, but uh, this is what I've gone for right here. So down there is where they're gonna fall. There's gonna be water here, here, and in the middle even. I'm gonna break their fall so that when they land down there, they're gonna be one hit kill and we can kill them. Um, and then we're gonna do, in these guys, there's gonna be water systems where they push the mobs out uh, on a timer. Um, we're gonna have to set up some sort of redstone timer uh, so yeah, anyways, we have to go down here to get all the stuff. Oh, it's all nice and nice, 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 neat piles for us. One, two, three. Okay. 
This is a cool ledge. See, this is like the type of ledge I was hoping for in our ravine. So we might we might dig it out a little bit. Um, okay, we're out of food now. Uh oh, we're gonna starve. All right, so that ravine is lit up a little bit better. Um, yeah, we just don't want any spawnable spaces outside of our farm here. Obviously, that's the goal. Um, so let's go down here. Oh yes, let's go mushroom stew. Oh man, we're we're rolling in the in the foods. <laughs> Maybe we make a mushroom farm. That'd be kind of cool. All right, well I think I'm gonna do the ravine lighting uh, expedition, and uh, yeah, I'll be back. All right, so I've done uh, all the cave lighting that I could do, and I want to come back here to the museum and work a little bit on the entrance here. Um, so yeah. We come into the museum, and I feel like it would be really cool to have gardens off to the side here. But usually when these, in these places, you have a pretty big flat area in front of the building for uh, any events to have a queue of people or to have things like um, advertisements or uh, displays out for people to see as they're passing by on the streets. Not that we're going to have a street here, but uh, just to make it look uh, more accurate. And so usually these are paved, and so I was thinking we used uh, stone brick. All right, so that looks a bit better to kind of, and then this is a good transition into an indoor flooring. Um, and of course we do that all the way through, but I just feel like that looks better. And then possibly another thing we can do to uh, work on this a little bit more is um, do this wall here. So then let's see, we can probably figure out a way to tie this top section in. Uh, did I bring any food? Looks like I did not. All right, so uh, yeah, this is like the rotunda that I was talking about. And the sections like this, they usually have, uh, you know, a working area where workers are and uh, people come up here get their tickets and then they go through something like this into the museum um, and then they obviously have some stuff on display for public people to check out but most of the cool stuff would be past these gates right so of course we'd have an exit over here you know it's just it, it's not really super accurate but it's kind of uh, what I'm going for so with this I figured to kind of serve that purpose a bit better in the center here we could have a crafting bench just like that and then uh, eventually we could probably have a bunch of different like utility blocks here just to be a good thing to do since we don't have a lot of blocks to work with shapes are kind of what we have <laughs> with us so you see it, it already has a different feel to it um and then what i was thinking to kind of accentuate these areas here is we bring them up and around it's a nice splash of color, I feel like. I feel like that actually kind of works. <laughs> um, maybe we can do that on these sides as well. It just, I feel like that would look better. Um, so yeah, we got to remember that we do have some flowers in the game. And they help. <laughs> uh, so bushes are probably a good resource as well. Anyways, there's one last thing I want to do today. And it has to do with one of my viewers. So one of my viewers has been a channel member for a long time and I haven't provided any channel member rewards um, really for that. And I feel like I really owe you guys something just because I want to show my appreciation for you. So one of my viewers, uh, Seb, has been a channel member for a long time at the highest tier and I really wanted to thank him for it. So what I wanted to do is put, um, usually museums have like donors so I wanted to put channel members or donors on the pillars here. And I feel like to start that off, we can put a uh, Seb right here and the date of today, which is December 23rd. So he's going to go right here. He's the first one. So Seb, there it is. Uh, thank you, Seb, for being an awesome dude. Um, and of course, you don't have to. Uh, I appreciate uh, all the time that you have and yeah anyone that does do that just know that it's not required at all and I appreciate those that do but uh, yeah don't feel like you have to so yeah um, that's gonna do it for today guys 
Um, yeah, I wanted to thank the Discontinued Features Wiki once again for helping me uh, with the series and whatnot and all the, the goody goods to do with uh, Discontinued Features these days. But of course, um, things are looking up in this world. I wanted to get this episode out for you guys on Christmas Day. So hopefully you're seeing this on Christmas Day. Uh, yeah. Anyways, bye bye.